Hello everyone, welcome to the Stock Martin channel. I have an awesome video for you today. We are gonna be talking about the latest news on electric vehicles. President Joe Biden of the United States just recently did a press conference yesterday and did talk about electric vehicles, the future of electric vehicles. For the very first time, he actually just uttered the words Tesla. We will be talking about this and more. Before we get down into it and get started, give me that big thumbs up. Keep me alive on YouTube. Smash that subscribe button, but don't forget to share this page with others so we can continue to grow this channel. I do have very nice links below uh, to get you free stocks. Take advantage of these. But now I did just want to talk about this huge news. Uh, President Joe Biden just went on the um, television and stated and was talking about the futures of electric vehicles. He starts off by talking about since the year 2021, we have sold, the United States have produced and sold over $260 billion uh, worth of products from electric vehicles. He does start off by taking talking about Ford and GM and then he just utters the words just very briefly Tesla um, because the Tesla is the world's electric vehicle market. Without Tesla, we would not have electric vehicles. In my opinion, this was not enough credit for Tesla. Tesla should have been receiving more credit from the United States, from the government. Um, and I do believe that President Joe Biden, uh, for the very first time mentioning Tesla is very big, but I do think that he should have emphasized it more because it is the pioneer of electric vehicles. It is the future of electric vehicles. Without Elon Musk, without Tesla, we would not be where we are right now. Now, that being said, um, President Joe Biden did mention that Ford and GM are starting to ramp up their electric vehicle productions. He is trying to get the United States behind uh, electric vehicles and the manufacturing of this. I definitely think that the government should be even more involved to incentivize uh, these electric vehicles to push these companies even further uh, because we are lagging quite behind. Just if you look at the United States right now, just in the sales of electric vehicles just last year, 2021, the United States only had 3% penetration into the uh, vehicle market, meaning that electric vehicles in the United States were only 3% of the total vehicles sold. If you do compare that to other companies such as China is the number one world's uh, seller producer of electric vehicles, they actually had 13% penetration into the vehicle market, meaning that 13% of all vehicles sold in China were electric vehicles. Number one of those was Tesla. Tesla deserves very big credit from the United States, from uh, Joe Biden, uh, the president of the United States, that it is the only automaker in the world that is making vehicles all over the world. But not only this, it is producing the best vehicles. So I definitely wish that um, the president would have given more praise, more respect to Elon Musk and to Tesla, but I am glad at least we are starting to hear him utter the words Tesla in a sentence. So, but big things to look forward to. He did mention in his presidential speech about the futures of electric vehicles, the futures of um, the EV market. Um, he did mention Rivian. He did mention that they are the first truck company, the electric truck company. Um, I definitely think that Rivian is stock is going to go up based on just that um, news that it was mentioned. Also, Pratera, he did mention that this is the first electric bus company that is being into the market. I do think that this stock will go up as well. Um, but again, these are just the very beginning revolution of the uh, EV market. We are in the uh, these stocks very early on. I do suspect that in the years to come, these stocks are going to do huge. Um, if you're looking at Lucid Motors, Rivian, um, you also have Neo. I know a lot of people are not liking Neo because it is a Chinese based company. Um, it has Chinese backing. But remember, the Chinese government is actually supporting uh, their electric vehicle companies. They are putting actually a lot of uh, incentives, a lot of money behind them. And I definitely think that these companies will flourish as well. So we are in the very beginning. This is only the tip of the iceberg of the electric vehicle movement. Um, but uh, again, it was very nice to see him utter the words Tesla. 
In my opinion, I do think that Tesla is going to continue to be uh, the world leader in the EV market. Um, they have the best products out there. They're uh, just now expanding their gigafactories just opened a few weeks ago in Austin, Texas. They are going to be making a Model Y. Model 3 are the top two selling electric vehicles in the EV market all over the world. And now they're going to be making even more of those. Just last year alone, 2021, they made Tesla almost made 1 million electric vehicles. That is with the supply chain issues, the chip shortages. So my hat's off to Tesla. Congratulations to Elon Musk. I know that there's a lot of people that uh, do not like Elon Musk. But remember, without Elon Musk, without Tesla, we would not be where we are right now. So give credit to where credit is due. So again, my hat's off to Tesla. I still think that it is one of the best stocks to get um, because uh, they are going to be the future. They actually created the path for a lot of vehicle companies uh, moving forward. I do also think that Lucid Motors um, is following in that path that Tesla created in making their electric vehicle market. Uh, they are in that little niche of being right now the, uh, the luxury electric vehicle market, but I do think that this will continue to grow. I do think that Lucid should have some props as well, um, because whenever we do look at these vehicles, we need to look at efficiency. This all started back when even looking at internal combustion engines, whenever you go buy and uh, buy a car out there, are you looking at the best miles per gallon? Everybody's looking, how efficient is this vehicle that I'm getting? Same thing applies to electric motors. Not a lot of people are actually talking about that, but efficiency is the key. Um, but right now, Lucid Motors and Tesla, in my opinion, are the top two electric vehicle producers um, that are looking and making the best efficient vehicle and I do think that their technology can be used in other markets as well, such as aviation, um, the marine, I, the sky's the limit. Um, I do think that, again, the president does need to give um, that credit where it is deserved. So, but it is nice to see that he is starting to talk about electric vehicles. He is also starting to talk about electric vehicle charging systems. Remember that the U.S. does need to build out its infrastructure. Tesla, again, did only all over the world put out the infrastructure on the charging systems. Without Tesla, we again would not have that infrastructure. In the United States, we are slowly starting to see charge point ev go uh, volta we're starting to see these uh, electric vehicle charging stations also uh, being mentioned i definitely think that this is a very nice time to get into these stocks as again we are just in the very beginning of this ev revolution but i hope you like this video i hope you learned something new give me that big thumbs up to keep me alive on youtube smash that subscribe button notification bell share this page with others um i do have that link below i did want to just talk to you about um it is a link to mumu right now my viewers can get a free lucid stock i think me and stockmo are the only ones that have this um offer right now for you to get free lucid stock. But in addition to this, Moomoo will give you up to five additional free stocks, each valued up to $3,500. It is a huge chance to get $17,500 in free stocks. Take advantage of these huge opportunities. This is free money, free stocks. And again, thanks for supporting the channel, for watching, for commenting. Have a great day, and I can't wait to talk to you on the next one. Thank you.